Seemerman, uh, Sinsang. Members of Let's Go, uh, members of government. Um, it's, it's about a smart uh, choice of where we're going to go with the future of Hong Kong. And we are at an important point in our uh, decision making because we're either going to spend a lot of money on the East Lantau Metropolis or the Lantau Tomorrow Vision, or we spent our money on other um, uh, efforts. And I'm putting this because it, we have limited resources. Government has shown to have limited resources. The planning department has not completed the planning of the new territories. There are unplanned areas. Government has unlimited resources. The MTR cannot build three, four rail lines at the same time without completely messing it up. You have limited resources. This city has limited resources. So if we're going to plan for building a brand new island, which completely changed the strategic configuration of our land users, our transport infrastructure. We completely uprooting our current planning process, our current resource demands. That choice got to be made not just based on a popularity test during a land strategy review. That choice got to be made on a very clear cost benefit analysis of what these different strategies would entail. Should we expand on our existing footprint with nearshore reclamation, moving the port, reuse of military sites, redoing our brownfields, or should we build a new island? A strategic choice. Do we build our existing footprint or do we expand the footprint to the point that people will have to travel twice, three times the distance they travel today? to complete the same transactions. Because that is what is going to happen if we expand with a third CBD. So we got to come back, not just with immediately jumping into a feasibility study for the ELM, because obviously it's going to suck up a lot of resources. Look at you today. The entire government development bureau sits here for the whole day listening to these conversations rather than fixing the new territories where you have a lot of problems, rather than coming up with ways of better protecting our environment from eco-vandalism. Robin sits here. What have you done to change the laws so that our private land is protected from eco-vandalism? You are not doing the things that we had hoped you to do because you're now building a new island. You're taking the resources away. I would suggest that the residents of the new territories should come to Hong Kong Island and strike, block the roads, be very upset with you that all those resources are being diverted to the islands rather than the new territories.